Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about POP3 protocol, topic of computer network. Before start this video, let's subscribe me on YouTube, Chirag Valoria. Follow my blog, EDU Resources. Follow me on Instagram and on FB. All the video materials are available on my blog, EDU Resources. All the links are given in description. Let's start with introduction of email. Email stands for electronics mail. Email is fast, easy to distribute and inexpensive. Using the email, we can send text, images, videos. So we can say using the email, we can send the multimedia files. Next, main protocols of email is SMTP and POP. SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol. It is mail sending protocol and POP, post office protocol. It is the mail downloading protocol or we can say mail access protocol. There are three interface to access a mail from the web server and send a mail to the other user. The first one is desktop email client. The second one is mail web interface and the third one is mail application on the mobile. The example of desktop email client is Outlook and Mozilla Thunderbird. Example of mail web interface is Gmail, Yahoo, Rediff Mail, Hotmail and many more. There are many applications are available in mobile to send a mail to the user and access a mail from the mail server. Next, modern email has many powerful features. So let us take one example to understand the powerful features of the modern. The first feature is a messages with attachments. So we have already discussed that we can send doc file and multimedia file through the email. Next, hyperlinks. So using the hyperlink, we can add external link in the mail body. Next, HTML formatted text. So using this highlighted menu, you can write the HTML formatted text in message body. Next, embedded photo. So this is the example of embedded photo. Embedded photo means you can drop the photo inside the message body. So no need to attachment, photo will be displayed in the message body. Next, POP3 protocol. POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol version 3. POP3 is the mail access protocol. The purpose of POP3 protocol is transfer the email from mail server to the client software. POP3 uses the port number 110 to transfer the email from mail server to the client software using the TCP connection. Now see in this diagram, TCP connection is established between the client and the server. Next, after the TCP connection established, POP3 performs three phases, authorization, transaction and update. So now I will explain these three phases in this diagram. So after TCP connection is established between the client and server, client will login into the server. For the login process, client will provide the username to the server. Server will verify the username and send OK message. If username is correct, then client enter the password. So password is verified at the server side and send the OK message and login successfully into the server. So this is called the authorization phase of POP3. After the login, user will retrieve emails from the server. The list of email is sent by the server to the client side. After that, client will access the email from the list of email and that access email is download at the client side. So after downloading, user can send, forward, replay or delete the mail. So this is called the transaction phase of POP3. So after the transaction phase, user will send a quit command to the server. So using the quit command, POP3 connection is closed and the TCP connection is released. So that is called the update phase. So in update phase, the mail server deletes the marked messages from the server. So these all are the phases of POP3 authorization, transaction and update. Next, POP3 is designed to delete the mail on the server as soon as the user has downloaded it. So it means whenever user access the mail from the server, the mail is downloaded into the user's local machine and delete from the server. Next. POP3 has two modes. One is the delete mode and the second one is keep mode. So let us discuss both the modes in detail one by one. So first mode is delete mode. In this mode, mail is deleted from the mailbox after each retrieval. So let us take one example to understand the delete mode. So let's assume that client want to access a mail which is stored on the mail server through the mobile device. So first of all, client perform the authorization phase and login into the mail server. So after the login, client will access all the mail from the mail server. 
So here all the mails are downloaded in the client device. So here we are discussing the delete mode. It means mail is deleted from the mailbox after each retrieval. So there is no mail inside the mail server. Let's assume that client mobile is breakdown and client want to access old mail from the mail server. So client will access the mail server from the PC. So again client will login into the mail server. So client is try to find the old messages from the server. But in delete mode client cannot access the previous messages which was downloaded in the client mobile. So client will access the new messages from the server. So it means client is lost all the messages from the server and from the its device. The another mode is keep mode. In keep mode the mail remains in the mailbox after the download. So let us take one example to understand the keep mode. So whenever user access the mail from the server using the keep mode at that time there is one option on the mail server. The option is that leave the copy of email on the server. So user will mark that option. It means the keep mode is active. So when keep mode is active and user want to access the mail from the mail server. So each mail are download from the server and all the mails are stored in the client PC. But now copy of each mail are remains in the mailbox after the download. Again user want to access the old mail from the mail server to the client mobile user can access from the mail server because in keep mode the mail remains in the mailbox after the download. Next limitation of POP3. The first one is POP3 does not allow the user to create folder and organize the mail on the server. Now let us take one example to understand the first limitation of POP3. This is the snapshot of my Gmail account. There are some of the folders are created by me in my Gmail account. But whenever you use POP3 protocol at that time you cannot create that folder. So here I can move the mail from one folder to another folder and also filter the incoming mail and that filtered mail is stored in particular folder. Next POP3 does not allow the user to partially check the content of the email before the downloading. Now I will show you one screenshot. In this screenshot I have opened the image before the downloading. So here I can partially check the content of email before the downloading. But POP3 does not allow the user to partially check the email before downloading. If you have any query regarding POP3 protocol you can ask me in comment section. If you like this video please hit the like button and share with others. Thank you for watching this video.